When programming for 4th-axis, it's worth noting that when applying a simple feature such as the drilling cycle, the software will not always perform as expected due to the nature of the component. In this case, we have 12 holes located around 120 degree increments. Selecting one of the holes for the drill feature works successfully, as does checking the box under the geometry tab to select the same diameter. But you will notice that remaining 8 holes in different orientations have not been selected. This can be rectified by creating another two drilling features using a different tool orientation. However, a simpler way to rectify this is to use the pattern command discussed in previous videos. Once selected, the circular pattern option can then be chosen. You can then choose a diameter or an axis for your rotation. You can then nominate the number of instances and if a full 360 degree angle or a partial angle is required as well as other options to fine tune your feature. For the pockets located on the smaller diameter, the component geometry dictates that a different process is required rather than the straightforward 2D adaptive or pocket features. Using either of these commands will give us something similar to the desired result, but as you can see, the base of the pocket is still in a flat orientation. To overcome this, we can use a wrap toolpath feature by selecting the base of the pocket as a cylinder, the cutter will now follow the geometry accordingly, therefore wrapping itself around the base of the pocket. For the remaining pockets, we can again use the pattern command therefore completing the process in easy steps.